Hey there everyone, Redneck Brian here. Okay, this is that uh, LG 52 inch TV I got a while back from the side of the road. Yes, this was a trash find from a neighbor down the street. And I finally got a chance to uh, pull it back off and we'll see what's going on in here. This thing has not been plugged in. I'm guessing it's been about six months since I got this. That's just my uh, guess for right now. But I'm not 100% sure I didn't look at the video yet. But um, if you want to see more about this, uh, check out the other video. So I want to see what's going on, see if it's a blown fuse or what, and uh, make an attempt at getting this TV working. Since it was free, and I've looked up power supplies, and I, th I think it might be worth it to replace the power supply, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So stay tuned. Okay, I got the back off the uh, LG 52 inch. Now this is where I need some help from some of my friends that know these internal electronics on TVs a little bit better than me. So, this, here's the power supply board. Everything looks fairly good. Nothing really looks bulged. There's one minor spot right here, right by these big uh, resistors. Or, yeah, big by these big caps. I believe they're resistor caps. Or, that's the resistor right there. I did take a little bit of electronics in school, but uh, nothing this extreme. So, it looks like it's gotten hot. Let me get the flashlight. Right in here by this fuse. And, sorry, that's, yeah, that's the resistor down there and the capacitors. These are the big guys are the capacitors. Got it right now. And the little uh, transformers right here. The MOSFETs, if anyone can tell me what they do, it would be greatly appreciated. I never know what they do. They look funny and they kind of look scary a bit. So, anyways, this um, fuse down here looks okay. So my best bet, I think, is to hop on eBay or possibly LG, most likely eBay though, and try and find a power supply. I did find one just after I bought... Uh, Sorry about that. Just after I got the TV, but um, most likely that end, that um, that auction is probably long since ended. But uh, I'd, like I said before, I'd like to get this TV working. Since it hasn't been plugged in in so long, I might consider plugging it in. Then I'll just wait about four months for it to fully discharge itself again before trying it again. But I'll leave the back off of it when I try it. But I gotta put the back on it whenever I go put it back in storage. Because so I got cats. I don't want cats jumping around on it and getting hurt. So, so anyways, I'm going to put the uh, power supply cover back on. And I'm going to grab a just a standard computer power cord and attempt to power this thing up. Because one thing that's different, here's the power plug down here. And this is actually the power cord right here. I know that offhand. So I might actually hop on eBay first, put the put the power supply cover back on, and then hop on eBay and see what I can find. See if I can even find a power supply. Just looking at the side, see if there's any. I wish these would have um, a resettable fuse. That's what they almost need. Here's here's a random kitty right here. Come on, kitty. They were already climbing around on the back of the TV earlier. So so anyways um. Like I said, there's a few spots where it looks like it could have got hot, but other than that, it, everything looks okay. I'm not going to pull the can off the uh, tuner. There's really no point. So, stay tuned. Okay, I put the TV somewhat back together. I tried putting power to it in a fluke, see if it would do anything. And it, of course it didn't, unfortunately. So, I'm going to call around to a computer uh, TV repair shops and see if they can order the part for me and I'll just go up there, pick it up, do whatever and I'll put it in. Because for them to do it, it's not worth it. But for me to do it, it might be worth it for the fi to fix this. So I guess stay tuned, see if I can get this thing fixed or not. I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always and please subscribe and comment.